Everybody here with Joseph of Better Earth here at the NRA Show, day two in Chicago, 2024. And Joseph, how are you? I'm doing really well, thank you. How are you? Uh, fantastic, yeah. Uh, you know, so let's talk about this fantastic product line you have here. Um, you know, I've been following this for a little bit over the past 10 years or so, and there's been a lot of bamboo-only products and things of this nature. They're great, but tell us a little bit about, little bit about what you have going on here. Yeah, thank you, Chris. It's a great question. So bamboo has been popular for quite some time now. Better Earth is differentiating itself a little bit in the way that we're bringing the products to market. So this is a variety of substrates that we use here. We have sugarcane, we also have bamboo fibers, and then we also have miscanthus and switchgrass. The miscanthus and switchgrass line is our farmer's fiber line, and that's our domestically produced line here in the United States. Okay. So um, what the, for restaurant use, and what are the other applications here? So we have what we call business and industry, which is those uh, office buildings, uh, maybe manufacturing facilities, or you have high volume, large consumption in a single area. Mm -hmm. um, that's for kind of business and industry. We have institutions like schools yeah. that use this, K through 12, uh, colleges and universities, uh, as well as QSR, fast casual, and then what we call the street business, the mom and pop restaurants. Okay, good. And so on the sustainability side of this and the green, uh, the carbon footprint and all of that, talk a little bit about that if you could. That's a big focus of ours today. So carbon reduction is something that we really like to focus on. Yeah. We're developing a line of packaging launching this month called Climate Smart Packaging. Okay. And our Climate Smart Packaging line is our reduced carbon line. Mm -hmm. So on that line of packaging, we've done a full LCA, third party verified, as well as ISO certified. Okay, great. What about the carbon footprint and the sustainability profile of this sort of thing? That's a really great question, Chris. So we first of all, we start with completely plastic free, petroleum plastic free, okay? Uh, that's what we lead with in our mission. We're trying to re re replace single use plastics, reduce and replace single use plastics within the single use space of food service. Yeah. And so when we look at the carbon footprint, we're starting with only regenerative based substrates. Regenerative based substrates mean it can be grown, the raw material can be grown, turned into it, converted into a product, collected, composted, and then put back to the earth. And for the low carbon materials that we're using, we're using switchgrass, miscanthus, bamboo, and sugarcane. Those are our four main substrates that we use today. And those four main substrates are grown specifically for the industry? They are not grown for the industry. It's a great question. So they're actually byproducts of another process. So for the sugarcane bagasse that we use, that's actually a waste product in the sugar producing process. Okay. So we take that from the sugar manufacturers and we pulp it and we uh, convert it into a product. For the bamboo, we use the waste product when they're making chopsticks, when they're making uh, sometimes fabrics actually yeah. are made of bamboo today, uh, when they're making furniture, yeah. um, when they're making flooring. And then the miscanthus, uh, that's actually produced here, grown in the United States. And we partner with local farmers in the Southeast, um, utilizing their underproductive land today. And um, they grow it as almost like a buffer crop, if you will. They're trying to restore their soils. And by, and by using that miscanthus, it's a very, um, how do you say it? Um, it's, it has very deep tap roots. It's very good for the soil. So it's uh, fine. So that sounds really good. So in terms of, <clears throat> let's say I'm a restaurant owner mm -hmm. and I'm interested in something like this. What would be the principal reasons? How do I market this to my diners, for example? They're going to be eating and, and whatnot. And, you know, do you tell them, do you market to them directly through the menu system as to the, these products and low footprint and all that? Yeah, so we work with distributors. We yeah. work with distribution um, in order to bring the product to market. Yeah. When we're talking to end users, such as Equator Coffee and others that are great partners of ours, yeah. we want to teach them to tell the story about using compostable and sustainable yeah. products. I imagine people would want to know this. I mean, and it's a selling point uh, for most. Yes, yeah, so we always start with BPI labeling. So you can see here um, in these areas, this means that this product is this BPI certification. It means that it's 100% compostable and commercially composting facilities. And so we always want to guide the consumer and inform them and let them know that through our labeling, yes. that this is a compostable product. Okay. We also engage with them and help them tell their story at the local level. So at the restaurants, we will create marketing materials for them to uh, tell their consumers, communicate communicate to their consumers that they're using compostable products. Okay. So, because this is, in a sense, is replacing the little recycle yes. image, correct? Yes, very And much. so, it, for those of us who don't really know, compostable versus recyclable. Mm -hmm. So, compostable 
um, is what exactly for those who need to know that? So a compostable product, there's a, there's a difference between biodegradable and compostable. Right. And compostable means that 99.9% .9 of the product will break down within 90 days and turn into compost, okay. turn into soil. Very simply put, within 90 days, 99% of your product will break down into compost in the soil. Yeah, thank you. I actually needed a refresher on that. So, but that's okay, you know. That's very good. And this is a key thing, I think, here. It's a real differentiator for us. <laughs> when you look at what is yeah. recyclable, what is recycling, what is biodegradable, yeah. there's a lot of greenwashing today in the industry, there and is. people talk about biodegradable. Yeah. Anything will biodegrade over time. Yeah. Your cell phone will biodegrade eventually. <laughs> Right? Eventually, everything will melt. Eventually, it will all turn into <laughs> carbon, right? But for us, commercially compostable is what's key. So it degrades 99% in a co commercial composting facility, and we're turning into compost and eventually go back to your soil. So do you produce uh, menu covers? Menu covers, sorry. What are menu covers? So we have a menu in a restaurant. Yes. And so we would have a cover so the, the people would ah. go inside. That's a great idea. I like that. Right? So this way we can advertise. This product, when disposed of, will be compostable. I like that. Yeah, that's a great idea. That's an innovation. That's an area the, that we can focus. Putting the image forward to the consumer. Yes. The diner. Yes. They say, this is really cool. This stuff is all going to disappear in 90 yep. days. I love that. I want to come to yep. this restaurant. This yep. is kind of what it's about, you know, yes. with people. Yes. So what, where's the rubber hitting the road? Well, you know, we want to do that with people. I understand you're the manufacturer and the distributor. Yep. But, you know, this is the thing. We want consumers to know that. Uh, the little recycle thing now is sort of a tarnished image. Mm -hmm. A lot of people mm -hmm. saying, you know, it's, a, it's an industry. It doesn't mean anything. But here, it's a different matter. Back to the direction. So you see 100% compostable in a commercial composting facility. Compostable BPI certified. So all yes. of our products you will see, anything that we print, um, anything that you, and, and, and really any one of our products, you'll see that there's guidance on there. This is 100% compostable, made from regenerative-based substrates, regenerative fibers, we yeah. call them, something that can be grown, harvested, turned into a product and put back into the soil. So all of our products will be labeled BPI certified, commercially compostable. And so now we're just waiting for suppliers of the substrate material to be devoted to the industry so that the demand is high enough for such a devotion to create, right? So yes. That's, yeah. That's what we're looking for. And that's why we kind of hit it on a multi-prong approach. Yeah. We educate the end users. Yeah. We educate the, distri the distribution community. Yeah. We, ed we educate the legislators. So we kind, of, we, we kind of hit all of the areas in order to try and develop a following for this type of product, right? right? We want to build momentum in this space. And before we go, I'm just curious, because every time I go into a convenience store, there's just, it's, you know, the, the cold case reach-ins are horrible. Uh, for the plastic single-use stuff. When are we going to see water and um, electrolyte juices and things like that come into compostable uh, containers? Such a great question. I love that. There's a lot of... Right? Well, I mean, we're really waiting for this. It's the plastic bottles that are everywhere, right? We see some of the world's biggest brands are actually the world's biggest polluters. It's, it's horrible. And so we want this stuff in cardboard. We want it in... Yeah, we want compostable. it in cardboard. So, yeah, cardboard is the incorrect word, but... No, you, you want it in a compostable substrate, and cardboard can be compostable depending on what the additives are that they put in that, the liners that they're using for that. But but today, yeah. there are bottles today, plastic bottles that are made from what are called PLA. It's a bio-based resin made from corn, oftentimes sugar cane, and so it is available, um, but it's scaling right now today in the marketplace. So there's more and more applications that are becoming available. We want to see that, and we want to see them. Pe the consumers will drive that market. It's got to be out there, and I would pick that in a heartbeat. I would pick it if it was a dollar more. I love that. You know, because that's what we want to do. It's a great testimonial. Yeah. And that's what we want to do. We want to educate the consumers, yeah. make sure that they understand the product that they're yeah. using it's time. is safe. It's time. You know, yeah, safe so. for you and safe for the environment. That's great. We want. Good. Well, Joseph, so wonderful to meet you. Is there anything else you'd like to add? No, we really appreciate your time. This is great. If we can support the com the, uh, the, the 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 market and sustainability, yeah. Yeah. that's really key. And by and by using compostable products, you're supporting farmers, you're supporting low carbon emissions, and you're supporting healthy soils. At the end of the day, because we're taking this, we're composting it, and we're putting that back to the earth. I love it. Great. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.